Let's see how can we record a new purchase bill on Localwell. In order to go to the add purchase page, uh, you will have to click on this add purchase option on the home page. If I click on this, I will directly land on the add purchase page. Uh, the first option that you see here is the purchase type, whether it's a tax invoice or a delivery challenge. See most of the suppliers that you will be dealing with will only be giving you a tax invoice. But then there are some districts in the state of Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan where the suppliers don't issue you the tax invoice for every purchase that you do with them. For the for the entire month they will keep on issuing you delivery challenge and at the end of the month they'll merge all this delivery challenge into one tax invoice. Right. So if that is the case then and if it is specifically mentioned on your purchase invoice then only you will in, you know select the second option otherwise you will always select the first option itself then on the purchase on the paper bill uh, the invoice date the bill date will be mentioned so that is what you need to enter in the second option the third option is there uh, asking for invoice number so invoice number is nothing but the bill number that is mentioned on your paper bill right so for example i will enter tax slash 117215 okay so this is my invoice number right then since this is a purchase you must have done it from a supplier so you are uh, you know you you will have to tell the software that this particular purchase bill has come from which supplier right so uh, that will that we will do in the third option so we will click on distributor option add distributor option so here it will by default it will show you the list of all the frequently uh, you know uh, all, all the distributors that you have frequently purchased from so you know if you see the name of the supplier then you can select directly from here or else you can also search the name of the supplier from here so for example i will select vardh right vardhman uh, so it will show me all the distributors that that are matching my uh, search text right and if suppose the the name of the supplier is not in this list then in the yellow at the bottom of the page you will also see the option of uh, clicking and adding a new supplier right uh, so so i can also add a new supplier which is not already there in local wells database right so for now for uh, for uh, example purpose i'll select this vardhman pharma distributors right so the moment see the moment i have selected vardhman pharma distributors you will see that there is a tax number tax uh, number the, you know invoice number it is showing that this is a duplicate invoice number right so uh, you know the software will also indicate in case you know there are some duplicate invoices that you may have entered right just before entering before saving the bill itself it will tell you that this particular bill is a duplicate invoice number then the option of purchase invoice with gst so you know there are certain uh, purchases which have happened without gst right which have been done from non gst registered parties so that is what uh, you know you have this option of selecting it from there so if suppose your purchase bill has the cgst and sgst breakup they, it has like gst column then the bill uh, you know you will select the first option which is bill has gst amount if the bill doesn't have this kind of information this kind of breakup then what it means is that you know your supplier is non gst registered or he is a composition dealer so in that case you will select the second option in which case the software will not add gst amount to your uh, to your products right it will it will just uh, multiply the quantity with the rate and calculate the total invoice amount so that is what the difference is then to add products you have three options uh, two options right uh, first is the search to add option uh, and the second one is scan to add so if suppose your product carry a barcode right a barcode has been printed on your product then you can select the second option which is scan to add but in most cases in most of the medicines the barcode will not be there right so in that case you will select the search to add button so as soon as you click on this uh, a search option will appear where you just have to enter the name of the product see the moment i entered the name of the product i'll i'll get to see all the products from from local wells database which are already there so we have a database of about 3 lakh products so most of the products that you want to add to your stock you don't have to create them they would already be there in the system you would just have to search and select them so for example i have selected derifilin retard so it is showing that you know there are two variants which are there derifilin retard 150 derifilin retard 300 and if suppose the product that i am looking for is not there in the database then again at the bottom of the page in the yellow color you have this option of adding a new uh, 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 a new product itself right so i can just click on it and then create a new product also but for now for uh, example purpose i'll select first product which is derifilin retard 150 mg tab so as soon as i select it i will land on this screen where the software will ask me to add the batch detail right uh, so first is the batch number so i will enter the uh, you know uh, the the batch number i will enter which is basically gz uh, 213 uh, g2z 
right so this is the batch number then i will go to the expiry date so for example the expiry date is october 2023 so i will mention 10 23 then you have this hsn code which is again mentioned on your purchase bill hsn code will actually define how much gst rate would be applicable to this product right so uh, you, you will you will mention this G- hsn code which is there in your uh, uh, purchase bill this will be helpful when you are trying to file gst return with the government because the government will ask you for a hsn summary uh, when you are filing a gst return so you you need to make sure that the hsn code that you are putting here is uh, absolutely correct Uh, which is basically mentioned in your paper invoice then you have this option called units per pack units per per pack is nothing but how many tablets you have per strip so for example if we take an example of dolo 650 right so it has like 15 tablets in one strip so here uh, you know uh, for that uh, we will mention 15 here for dairy felin it is 30 you know that means 30 tablets per strip then you, you the software is asking you for how much quantity you have purchased so for example i have purchased 10 strips right now the second option is the free quantity sometimes what happens is that the supplier will give you some free strips uh, uh, on the purchase of a minimum number of strips right so for example if he has given one strip on the purchase of 10 so that one you will enter here right then you have this option of mrp uh, the purchase rate and then the sale rate so you know you may ask me like you know what is the difference between mrp and sale rate so in see in most of the cases for most of the pharmacies the mrp will always be equal to sale rate right which means that the pharmacy is going to sell the product to the customer at the uh, mrp itself but then there are some generic pharmacies where what they do is the mrp is random right uh, what they will do is they will take a markup on their purchase cost and then sell the you know then define the sale rate for a product at which they will sell to the customer so for mostly for generic pharmacies this will be helpful but uh, you know for most of you you don't have to change this right in if you have to calculate the sale rate you can always use our inbuilt calculator uh, so you can click on calculator and then you will see you know uh, multiple options of defining your sale rate then the next option is discount right so if suppose the supplier has given you some discount uh, the discount can be entered in two ways either in the form of percentage or in terms of a flat amount right so if you enter a flat amount also the software will automatically calculate the percentage value for it and then the third option is add scheme so see uh, there are two types of schemes that the supplier would give first is that you know uh, on the purchase of 10 strips he may give you 11 strips right on the cost of 10 so you have actually received a quantity of 11 in that case you will have to enter the free quantity here but sometimes what happens is that you know this 10 plus 1 scheme is something which the supplier have received from manufacturer right and you have as a retailer you have only purchased five strips from them so in the five strips that you have purchased the supplier basically is giving you the benefit of 10 plus 1 scheme that he has received from your manufacturer so in that case what you will do is you will enter 5 here and then you will enter this 10 plus 1 scheme here which is nothing but which translates to 9.09% discount right so this is how you enter that scheme now if i click on add you will see that this product has been added to the purchase bill so now uh, uh, you know uh, one one of the products have from the purchase bill has been added so you just have to kind of you know repeat this process till all the items from the purchase bill have been added so again i will go here and quickly i will enter the second product here yeah uh, gaba pen nt then i will enter the batch number i will enter the expiry date uh, then the number of strips so i have purchased suppose i have purchased five strips right uh then mrp purchase rate sale rate have automatically filled uh the supplier has given me a 2% discount right and then i click on add so you see that you know gaba pin nt has also been added to the purchase bill uh, once all the items have been added to the purchase bill uh you will see some more options at the bottom of the page so first is the bill discount sometimes what happens is that you know if suppose you have paid for this bill in cash the supplier will give you a cash discount right so what you can do is you can add the cash discount here the cash discount can also be added in terms of percentage or a flat value right so the software will automatically do those calculations then if you click on invoice amount you will see the entire breakup of your invoice amount which is like you know how much subtotal was there how much total discount has been given on the purchase bill what is the total taxable amount how much the gst has been applicable all these things will be visible here now if you see that the invoice amount is 1034 and 70 paise so 
you know the software will calculate the payable amount at the bottom of the page you will see this payable amount uh, so software will round off the invoice amount to calculate the payable amount so the payable amount has become now 1035 right once all the items have been added you just click on save see as soon as you click on save the software will ask you for the payment information whether this particular bill has been added as a credit bill or you have already made a payment for this bill if suppose it is a credit bill you will select the first option and as soon as you select this option you will see that the software is basically calculating 1035 as the balance amount right and you can just enter the payment due date payment due date is nothing but the date at which you are planning to make payment to your supplier so suppose you are planning to make the payment on 10th of october right so you will select this so the payment due date will automatically appear here now if you click on save this particular uh, uh, purchase bill will get saved otherwise if suppose you know uh, you have already made a payment to the purchase bill you will select the second option in which case the software will ask you like you know what is the payment mode with uh, which you have made the payment so for example i have made the payment using check so i'll select check and then i'll enter the transaction number here right the the check number right uh, once i have done that i'll just click on continue to save and that will save my invoice see it has given that purchase has been added successfully thanks for watching if you like this video do press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell For further questions feel free to WhatsApp us on the number down below.